He's one of Mobile's unsung heroes, and he's retiring after 22 years on the job. Tonight, we look at the impact Alabama Port Authority Director Jimmy Lyons has had not just on the state docks, but the entire area economy. Peter Albrecht sat down with Lyons this week. It's at the core of why Mobile is here, and at the core of the port for the last two plus decades has been Jimmy Lyons. In a lot of ways, Peter, I'm going to miss it. Lyons will retire at the end of the month, proud of the legacy that he's established. We're in a very strong financial position, uh, you know, as good as we have been, even though we had kind of a lousy year last year, our liquidity is still great. When it comes to his top accomplishment, Lyons points to the continually expanding container terminal that opened in 2008, at the time, a risky endeavor. And a lot of my Colleagues and, and friends in the industry uh, thought I'd lost my mind. But Lyons said the port needed to diversify from handling too much coal and timber products and had to adapt to the state's changing economy. Alabama's uh, employment base had become more geared towards advanced manufacturing and that needs containers. Over 22 years, Lyons has been to a lot of groundbreakings and ribbon cuttings. He's been an essential part of every major happening, not just at the port, but in the area at large. Jimmy Lyons has been a key player in all of the major economic development projects that have happened in this community uh, since he's been in that position at the port. And that includes the area's two biggest projects and ones that general public may not directly attribute to the port. It was an eight year uh, effort to uh, to get Airbus in here. Lyons convinced Airbus that our port could handle the arrival of the fuselages and other large plane components and move them safely inland to be assembled at the Brooklyn Aeroplex. And he came up with a key strategic move that allowed the ThyssenKrupp steel mill project to move forward, getting the steel slab from Brazil to the facility on the shallow Mobile River. The draft was not uh, deep enough for the vessel to get up to the, the facility on the river, so um, he, he developed the concept of unloading at a, at a special dock facility at the port and then barging the material to the port um, in Calvert. And so really that, that solution made it possible for this community to win that project. And I guess as they say, the rest is history. And Lyons says those projects demonstrate the real function of the state docks, not to just move products in and out, but to grow the economy across Alabama. That's really our purpose is to generate employment, not necessarily people employed here by the port, but people employed by industries that uh, need uh, have demand for global shipping. Lyons points out big things on the horizon, like the opening next year of the roll-on, roll-off facility that will allow the port to export tens of thousands of vehicles now being made in the state, and the further deepening of the port that will allow even larger container ships to dock here. A bright future for the port and the state. I think Alabama is doing great, and I think that we, we have been a part of that.